Okay, here we are doing another paint pour, my friend Liz and I. And I have chosen kind of Halloween autumn colors. And she has chosen purple, turquoise, green, and black. Say hi, Liz. Hi. <laughs> okay, so what we've done is we've put, we've chosen our colors. We mix 50% of our color with 50% of Votrol. And then we put a skim of soapy dishwater on the top, which is probably about 10 drops or so from this thing. And we start it all in. So we've already done that so that we don't bore you. And now we're going to do flip cups and things. So do it whichever way you want to do it, Liz. Okay. You need some of those. Yep. These are just from the dollar store. Nice little flip cups. And I guess they're supposed to be shot glasses. <laughs> so. Hmm. Okay. What are you going to do? I'll go with light. your purple. Yeah, purple, and then add some blue. I like those colors. I can't decide what to start with. I think I'm going to want what I want on top. So green. I have to think about what I want on top because whatever you put on the bottom of the cup ends up on top. <laughs> And then hopefully it goes through the other colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. So maybe I'll do orange first. Mm, a little bit of black. Oh, there we go. Some orange. And a little accent of this is like a light turquoise. Oops. Oh my, these are kind of hard to pour out of. Huh, weird. Oh, did you, you use a little white? bit of white? You bet. Yeah, I have way too much white. Are you Just having trouble see. pouring out of these little cups? Um, no, not too bad. So it's just me then. <laughs> I was enjoying stirring the paint colors. It's making me feel like a scientist, but now I just feel clumsy. <laughs> uh, maybe some white. see how far one foot cup goes and I might even take my stir stick and do a little just didn't really stir it just kind of moved it around a bit and I'm gonna pour it I'm gonna dump it in that corner so did you end up with a pretty full cup yeah it was more than yeah about that yep but yeah you can go further if you want so I'm going to let mine flow out now. It's been sitting there and letting all the paint drip down. Look at all that white. That is interesting because I actually started with, with orange. I put Because that's on the... Oh. Yeah, I put orange in the bottom of my cup, so I thought that would be what would come out. Okay. Okay, what are you going to do? I'm going to do a little cup too. Yep. It does seem to be a neat method, doesn't it? But mine's really muddy. It's not, flip cups aren't usually quite so muddy. Hopefully some of those colors will come up on the bottom when I dip it. Yeah, that would be... Uh oh, there's something... some thick... <laughs> there we go. Oh, it made kind of a cool swirl. I'm going to use a straw because I'm all out of butane for my torch. See all the paint, uh, the colors under there? Yes, that looks really nice. It's 
So I want some of the white to stick around, but... So if only I had a torch, I bet you a lot of that with those colors would come up real nice. Okay, well, I'm going to do this. yours. Oh, pretty. It's like a dog and you have lots of cells. Oh, yay! <laughs> I'm glad I have lots of paint left over because I think I do want to just stretch it over part of my canvas and then do another cup. Oh, that I looks think so I like good. This. I think I really I actually do. like that green. You were saying the green might might have been not quite the right green for yeah. you, but it looks I'm good. For like a, a bright, like a shamrock green. But oh, but that think, looks really good in there. Yeah. Okay, now I realize. How much soap to put in there because I put way more. Way more, yeah. Yes. So don't be cheap on the soapy water, people. Because we we did a pour just a few minutes ago and I didn't realize I'd put a lot more soap soapy water in mine and Liz didn't and she didn't end up with any cells. So we're not even gonna show that video. Because <laughs> these are way cooler. And the colors are way better too. I love this. Look at all these cool things happening. I don't really like this edge, so I think I'm going to pour on this edge. All oh, right, the white came out. So I'm going to put hardly any white in this time. Wow. It's beautiful. So do you have any paint left? Like, why don't you make another cup so that you don't have to stretch it too much? Okay. And then you can drizzle it into the corners. And then you can still tip it around after that if you want to, but you don't have to. That would work. Mm -hmm. um, and I wish my torch worked right now. Because with the cells appearing on their own, it, the torch just helps to get some different size cells going. Right. Oh well, I guess we'll call this um, No Torch Book Cup. <laughs> so people can see what you can do without a torch. Because we don't have one today. I think that's going to be plenty. So, I'm just, so what we did before is we put the canvas like that and then we flipped it. But you can also do this where you just go, hello. <laughs> <laughs> And now there's some contrast because I have quite a bit of black on this this corner, which I like that one. Two parts of the painting look quite different. It's funny how your colors and these colors look really nice, to, you know, side by side. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was surprised. I thought that they'd, they have so little in common that I don't know what I was thinking, but I was very surprised. Darling, can you make the microwave stop beeping? The people of the internet will appreciate it. Okay, so when I did the last one, I did one over, and then I... What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> you can just pour it. Like you can just, just pour it, like start up there and go pour across and then pour across. Okay. And just a little, you know, like a nice wide swath, but don't waste it all if you... Uh, could just drizzle? You need some in the other corner? Yeah. <laughs> still got lots here. Okay. Okay, stop. And then, yeah, these are just like a blob and another blob. Yeah. There you go. I've got plenty. I think I'm going to finish off this uh, with com completely white, because that actually looks neat to have one white corner. You're not actually going to come over here and eat your soup, <laughs> are you? <laughs> good. This is your homemade soup, but it's so good. Okay. 
That was my husband. He makes squishy noises when he eats. He's not allowed to eat on camera. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to pour it. I suppose. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> Good I one. Of course, that would be very entertaining to see what happens when he makes squishy noises and I have and I freak out. <laughs> Wouldn't be boring, that's for sure. Alright. Are all your edges good? Oh, I'm going to pick up some stuff from this side and make sure the edges are covered. Oh, that's so pretty. I like the black in there, hey? Yeah, just a touch. Yeah, just, yeah, it doesn't overdo it. sure hope I turn my camera on. <laughs> Would that be terrible if I didn't? Because these are really good pores. Look at this one. It's amazing. I love it. Love it. Happy Halloween. Happy fall. turn the camera off so thank you so much for watching if you have any questions on how to do this I'd be happy to answer in the comments below and uh, we'll see you next time